To assess how different milks and alternative liquids affect soap characteristics, I thought I'd run an experiment. I'm making a bunch of 100% coconut oil soaps, replacing 50% of the water content with a range of liquid substitutes and seeing how these additives affect the final soap. I'm Rox, let's get cracking. So I thought I'd bring you an update on the Milk's Alternative Liquids um, soaps that I made. Anyone who stumbles across this video that's not interested in soap is going to think, what a bunch of weirdos, you know, it's just soap. But if you're really interested in soap, hopefully you will find this interesting. So here's the control soap. This was just the 100% um, coconut oil soap and the rest are coconut oil soaps with milks, various milks in them. So here we've got the coconut milk, this one's the yoghurt, I've just scratched it on. We've got cow's milk, goat's milk, cream, egg, oat and rice. Now, uh, when I first made these and tested them when they were straight out of the mould, I honestly I can't remember much about most of them with a couple of exceptions. All I can really remember is that, the, that I didn't like the rice milk soap and I thought that the egg soap was fantastic. But it's been a month now so let's test them again and see how they fare. So here, this is a control soap. We know that these soaps are going to be bubbly because they're made with 100% coconut oil. So what we're really looking at is maybe how does it improve the lather, the creaminess and uh, the conditioning qualities. Because soap, coconut oil soap just with 100% coconut oil can be quite harsh on your skin. So how do the different milks and additives um, temper the soap if that makes sense so well I'll just test the control for the bubbles when I was testing the different 100% single oil soaps it's hard to describe bubbles you know there are either lots of them fewer of them the, the lather could be more creamy um, I'm showing you on the video so you can judge that for yourself um, hopefully although I'm just washing my hands with all these soaps, I can hopefully tell the difference between whether one is leaving my skin feeling dry and tight or whether it's feeling nicely conditioned. Anyway, this is the Control Coconut Oil Soap. So, nice and bubbly, as we would expect. So how is that <clears throat> leaving my skin? Um, it doesn't feel too bad actually, just on its own, but I'll dry my hands. See how they feel, yeah. Now, when I do that I can hear a noise. Don't think the cam the my phone will be picking it up. Reminds me of that, you know when you when you wash your hair and it gets that squeakiness? Similar thing with my skin. Yeah, it is that is feeling dry, it is, it is. Move on. Let's try one of the other soaps. Once again, in no particular order, let's try the cream soap. So this was made with like the full fat dairy cream which is roughly 50% fat I mean I think you really do have to be a bit of a soap nerd to be experimenting with all these different milks but I want to know um, for formulating blends in the future so yeah I don't know whether that's coming up less bubbly than just the pure coconut oil soap. 
it's so hard to tell. Uh, let's give it a good work through and see how my skin feels afterwards and how it creams up. So yeah, nice and creamy. Oh yeah, that is definitely better than the 100% coconut oil soap. My hands feel moisturised. Okay. Okay, so sticking with the dairy soaps, I suppose, I'm going to try the cow's milk soap. These soaps are really firm. So is this creaming up? Yeah. I actually think that's creamed up better than the actual cream soap. This is a cow's milk. Really nice and creamy. <sighs> right, and then I will dry my hands again. I suppose if I was using a sink to wash my hands in, I would totally rinse my hands with clean water. But again, yeah, they're feeling really nice and moisturised. I can, I can feel it. No drag on there whatsoever. Okay, let's try the goat's milk. Okay, goat's milk. So we're getting some cream there, nice. Um, I don't think that creamed up quite as well as the cow's milk, but there's not a lot in it. And let's see how my hands feel. And I've dried them. Again, hands feel moisturized, hard to know now, when I'm testing them one after the other like this, um, and really, it's the only way I can do it. It would be an absolute pain to be setting up to film over the, an entire day or different days of the week just to film <clears throat> one video, so I'm doing it all at once. But yeah, my hands feel moisturised. Good. Now, let's try, um, we'll try the yoghurt soap next. Okay, yoghurt soap, um, you know, I don't feel as enthusiastic as I normally do, I'm a bit under the weather, but uh, I apologise if I sound a bit less lively than I normally am, I'm just getting on with it. So here's the yoghurt soap, let's test this. bubbles really nice creaminess I'd say equal to equal to the milk soaps hard to tell as I keep saying let's dry my hands again okay so whatever the reason, I feel as though my hands feel more conditioned by the yoghurt soap than all the other soaps. Um, like I say, it's hard to tell when I'm just washing my hands one after the other, trying these soaps one after the other, but that feels good to me. So let's move on to the next soap. Okay, so. I'm going to leave the egg soap and the rice till last because 
when I first tried them straight out of the mould, I felt the rice was the worst and the egg was the best. So that leaves us with the oat milk and the coconut milk. And I think I made, did I make barley milk? I don't know where that one is. I'll have to see if I can find it. Okay, let's try oat milk. I love oat, using oat milk in my soaps. Um, obviously within a blend. Like you would with any of these milks if you're using them. You'd look at your blend and how that particular milk can complement your blend. So some really nice bubbles there. Let's see what we're like with creaminess. Yep, nice, nice creaminess. Dry my hands. How are we feeling, skin? Yes, nice, nicely moisturized. Yeah, really nicely moisturized. So that's oat milk. I'll have to go and see if I can find the missing barley milk soap. Here we are, the barley milk soap. Very easy to miss one when they pretty much all look the same. I think the one that looks the most different is the egg soap. Slightly different colour. Okay, barley milk. Let's try this. Nice and bubbly, as we would expect. Yeah, it's going creamy. Maybe not as creamy as some of the others, but creamy all the same and it feels nice and velvety. Okay, nice and conditioned, no dryness there whatsoever. Okay, let's move on. Okay, coconut milk soap. Let's try this. Okay, it creams up. I don't feel that that cream is quite as luxuriant as some of the other creams from the milk soaps. Let's go my hands. Yeah, it feels good and I wouldn't expect anything else because coconut milk contains some coconut fat still to add a bit of extra super fat. They feel great, my skin feels great. Okay, so um, rice milk soap. Now, last time I felt this made my skin feel pretty dry, um, but let's try it now. It's, it's, it is creaming up very kind of thinly. It's, it's not great. No, it's, you know, there's a little bit of cream there, but nothing to write home about. Okay, so I'll dry my hands. Right, okay, so my opinion of the rice milk soap still remains, I'm not happy with it. I don't think the rice milk is adding a great deal to this soap. Um, maybe it would in large quantities, maybe it would with a different balance of oils, but for the purposes of this experiment, I'm, I'm not rating it, but that's just my opinion. Okay, let's try the egg soap, finally. So I've just had a few moments uh, when I'll be changing the water to try the final soap, which is the egg soap and the rice milk soap. 
<sighs> no, my skin's draggy. I know there's loads of people out there that are devoted to rice milk soap. Based on this experiment, I probably won't use rice milk in a soap ever again. Um, I don't personally, this is my opinion based on this experiment here, it's not really adding anything. My skin is really draggy and that is going to be dry. So anyway, let's try the egg soap. Now last time this was really creamy, that was straight out of the mould, this was really creamy but with really luxurious lather so we, and nice and bubbly too, so we're getting bubbles. Yeah, yeah, and let's see if it creams up. Yeah, so out of all of the dairy soaps, I'm including egg in that, this one has what I would say is this one has, in my opinion, the densest lather. And um, because of this, I think it would make a really good addition to a shaving soap. I think I said that last time. I'm going on a bit, but I mean, look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. I don't know what it is about the egg that's making that lather but that lather is absolutely phenomenal but how does my skin feel when I wash this off okay yeah nicely conditioned really nicely conditioned so that's them all tested and what are my final thoughts my final thoughts are this that adding milks into your soaps, whether that be plant milks or um, dairy milks, is worth it. I think the um, dairy milk soaps definitely have more creaminess and the egg soap is phenomenal. I think the um, plant milk soaps, the oat, the barley, and the coconut milk are nice and creamy, nice and conditioning. The only one I've got an issue with is the rice milk soap. Um, that's my opinion based on this experiment. Um, I don't know whether I'll be testing these again. I'm not sure how they would change any further the longer that they cure because it's just a coconut oil soap we're testing the milk. So I'm not sure that they would improve so much over time as the 100% oil soaps or castile soap does so um yeah <clears throat> my final opinion is that yes it is worth putting milks into your soaps all except the rice milk soap hate on me if you like with the rice milk but that's my opinion anyways i'm off to see what other mischief i can get up to now see you later bye bye